Well, yeah, some big news coming in. Few representatives from Shah Rukh Khan's team arrive at the Mumbai court. Lawyer Satish Manishinde likely to be appearing for Aryan Khan. Aryan Khan and two others are to be produced before court at around 7 p.m. Aryan Khan has been charged with drug consumption. Aryan has denied purchasing any drugs. There's the big news coming in right here with Aryan Khan now being uh, suspected to have consumed drugs and he's now going to be produced before a Mumbai court. In fact, Shah Rukh Khan's team members have already set to arrive at the Mumbai court. Lawyer Satish Mani Shinde is likely to be a appear for Aryan Khan. In fact, at around 7 p.m., he will be produced before court. Aryan Khan has been charged with drug consumption. Nivesh, for more on that, Nivesh, do uh, elaborate. Drug consumption, that's the charge that's been made on Aryan Khan. Uh, this comes right after he was taken in for a medical test. Do take us through exactly what the test revealed. Nabila, as of now, the test that was conducted uh, at the government-run hospital was to ascertain what is the health condition of Aryan Khan. Because as per SOP, as per standard operating procedure, every accused after being placed under arrest, before being produced in court, they are taken to a government-run hospital uh, they, uh, where the doctors do a checkup on them uh, to find out whether what, uh, what is their health condition. And once the doctor states that the uh, accused is fit and he doesn't have any serious ailment, uh, he's he or she is produced in court. Uh, as of now, Aryan was taken to hospital and then uh, brought back to the uh, NCB office. So it clearly states that uh, the doctor has given a go-ahead uh, and uh, Aryan remains fit. Uh, re regarding the drug consumption, as I had earlier also pointed out that NCB uh, has a drug, portable drug kit, which is authorized by the government, which is allowed by the government uh, to use in uh, cases of narcotic drugs and consumption. So this particular portable kit uh, is used to ascertain whether a person has consumed drugs or not. Uh, it is something similar to a breath analyzer, uh, which is used by the Narcotics Control Bureau. And thus, uh, after use of this, it is ascertained, it becomes clear whether what amount of drugs has the uh, accused person or the suspected person consumed. Uh, once that is clear, once the report is out, that is used by the Narcotics Control Bureau against the accused. So this, in this particular case also, Aryan Khan and the two others have been booked for consumption. Remember, there are sections like 8C, 20B applied against Aryan Khan. There is section 27 that has been applied against Aryan Khan, which is primarily for consumption, uh, for consumption of a banned narcotic substance. Under the NDPS Act, Narcotic Drug and Psychotropic Substances Act, uh, one can be sentenced to prison for up to one year or with a penalty of rupees 25,000. So as of now, uh, Aryan Khan could face custody if NCB demands his custody to ascertain who was the person who supplied him with drugs. Uh, NCB could also inform the court that they need to find out details about other persons who were involved and that is why they need custody of the accused person to question him, to interrogate him. Uh, it depends on the court to further decide after hearing comments from both the sides, from the prosecution as well as the defence lawyers to decide whether custody be granted or not. But as we have earlier seen, in cases of consumption, it is rare. It is very rare that one is granted police custody remand or NCB custody remand. Uh, in this case also, it could be that uh, the court could send uh, Aryan Khan and the other accused to judicial custody. Well, uh, here we believe that the three accused who have been arrested and their uh, tests that have been taken, in fact, Arjun Khan, one among, one among them, who's been charged for consumption of drugs, he's going to be appearing before court at 7 p.m. We believe that Shah Rukh Khan's uh, legal representatives have also arrived. They're going to be uh, representing, Satish Manish Chinde will be representing Aryan Khan. Uh, what do you think are they going to be defending this case with? Nabila, as I had earlier pointed out, uh, that uh, this is this could be primarily a case of consumption. So, in terms of consumption, uh, the defence lawyer could uh, inform the court that if the uh, accused person has consumed narcotic drugs, it is only for the first time that they have consumed, and they will not repeat this offence again. So, uh, they could request the court to grant them uh, with uh, to grant them to uh, grant them release, and also they could seek de-addiction from uh, 
from substance abuse, from consumption of narcotic drugs, and court could then order, depending on the arguments, court could then further order that uh, the accused person could should go for a de-addiction course and also should abide by all the rules, abide by the terms uh, of the bail that are uh, being granted, that is being stated. Uh, the he or she will have to adhere to the Narcotics Control Bureau, to the investigation agency, to f and further, whenever they are called for interrogation, whenever they are called for questioning, they will have to appear before the agency.